Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing all about word problems involving permutations and combinations. These are the following objectives in today's topic. Letter A, differentiate permutations from combinations. Letter B, find the permutations or combinations of n objects taken r at a time of a given problem. And letter C, value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding. Before we can solve problems involving permutations and combinations, we need first to master how to differentiate or how to identify if the following problem or situation illustrate combinations or permutations. So in this activity, we will be identifying if the given situation illustrate combinations or permutations. So let's have our first example. Determine the top three winners in a M top challenge. So in this case, since we are looking for the top three winners, meaning to say there is a first place, second place, and third place. So meaning to say order is important or order matters. So in permutations, order is important. Therefore, this situation illustrates permutations. So we have the second situation, choosing five grade 10 students to represent in a meeting. So in this situation, this obviously illustrate combinations because in combinations, order is not important. And the term here is we will just choose five grade 10 students regardless of who comes first with those students order does not matter therefore this is an example of combinations after you have mastered on how to identify if the given situation or problem is permutation or combinations now we can now solve problems involving combinations and permutations so let's have our first problem or example a group has to select a moderator and a secretary from five members in the group. How many arrangement of group leaders are possible? So the first step is we need to identify if this situation illustrate combinations or permutations. Since the moderator and the secretary are considered different, then the number of possible arrangement of group leader is an example of permutation. So we are looking for the permutations of the group leaders. How many arrangement of group leaders are possible? So let's identify first the given. So the value of n, the number of objects is equal to 5 because there are 5 members in the group. And then the value of r is equal to 2 because we have to select the moderator and the secretary and that is equal to 2. Then we will be using the formula of permutations. So we have npr is equal to n factorial over the quantity n minus r factorial. And then all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value. The value of n is equal to 5. p, the value of r is equal to 2, equals the value of n is equal to 5 followed by the factorial symbol all over the quantity. And then we have the value of n is equal to 5 minus the value of r is equal to 2, followed by the factorial symbol. Then bring down 5p2 equals 5 factorial is just 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Or press 5 followed by the factorial symbol in your calculator then equal sign the answer will be equal to 120. And then 5 minus 2 is equal to 3, then factorial symbol. And then after that, bring down 5p2 
equals bring down 120 and then 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 which is equal to 6 and then 120 divided by 6 is equal to 20. Therefore, the number of arrangement of group leaders is equal to 20. Let's have our second example. A group has to select two leaders from the five members in the group. How many sets of group officers are possible? In this problem, the problem is looking at sets of group officers and is not particular as to who is the moderator and who is the secretary. So we are just looking to select two leaders from the five members. So in this situation, order is not important. The two group leaders, uh, the person A and person B or person B or person A are considered as the same sets of objects as A and B. So they are the same regardless of who will you select first. So this is an example of combinations. Order does not matter or order is not important. So with that, let's identify first the given. The value of n is equal to 5 and the value of r is equal to 2 because we will select two leaders. And then after that, we will use the formula of combinations. We have ncr is equal to n factorial over r factorial times the quantity n minus r factorial. And then all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding values. The value of n is equal to 5. Then c, the value of r is equal to 2, equals the value of n is equal to 5, followed by the factorial symbol all over the value of r is equal to 2 followed by the factorial symbol times the quantity n is equal to 5 again minus r is equal to 2 and then followed by the factorial symbol and then bring down pipe combination 2 equals 5 factorial is 120 all over 2 factorial is 2 times 1 and then 5 minus 2 is 3 followed by the factorial symbol and then after that, bring down 5C2 equals 120, copy 120, all over bring down 2, and then 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1, and that is equal to 6. And then bring down 5 combination 2 equals bring down 120, and then 2 times 6 is equal to 12. And then bring down 5 combination 2 equals 120, divided by 12 is equal to 10. Therefore, there are 10 sets of group officers that is possible if you will select two leaders from the five members in the group. Let's have our third example. How many line segments can be formed from six given points with no three of which are collinear? So in this example, we will draw for six given points with no three of which are collinear. When we say collinear points, these are points that lie on the same line. So on our first point, we will draw a point here and then here. We cannot draw a point here because this will not satisfy the given situation on our problem. The problem says that no three of which are collinear. So we must put a point here. And then the fourth point, and then the fifth point and the sixth point. So we have drawn a six given points with no three of which are collinear. And then after that, we will identify if this situation illustrates combinations or permutations. So the question is how many line segments can be formed from six given points? So in this case, the problem illustrates combinations because order does not matter whether you will start at this endpoint and then you will create a line segment here or in this endpoint and then you will create a line segment here it doesn't matter which point you will start you will just form line segments that can be formed from six given points with no three of which are collinear therefore this is an example of combinations with that 
let's now identify the given the number of objects is equal to six because there are six given points and then the value of r for us to be able to create a line segment we need two points so therefore the value of r is equal to two and then after that we will use the formula of combinations so we have ncr is equal to n factorial all over r factorial times the quantity n minus r followed by the factorial symbol and then the value of n is equal to 6 then combination the value of r is equal to 2 equals the value of n again is 6 followed by the factorial symbol all over the value of r is equal to 2 then factorial symbol times the quantity 6, the value of n, minus the value of r, again, is equal to 2, followed by the factorial symbol. And then we will just simplify. Bring down 6, c2 equals 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 720. All over 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. And then 6 minus 2 is equal to 4, and then followed by the factorial symbol. Bring down 62 equals copy 720 all over copy 2 and then 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and that is equal to 24. And then bring down again 6 combination 2 equals bring down 720 then 2 times 24 is equal to 48. Then dividing these numbers 720 divided by 48 is equal to 15. Therefore, there are 15 line segments that can be formed from 6 given points with no 3 of which are collinear. So if I will show you the 15 line segments that can be formed from 6 points with no 3 of which are collinear, here is it. This is the first line segment. The second one, third fourth, five, then the sixth one, the seventh line segment, eighth line segment, ninth line segment, the tenth one, the eleventh one, twelve, and then we have the thirteenth one, the fourteenth, and the fifteenth line segment. Let's have our next example. This time, let's compute for the number of polygons that can be formed from six given points with no three of which are collinear. So we will just draw six given points. So these are the six given points with no three of which are collinear. And this time, instead of a line segment, we will be creating a polygon. So when we say polygon, it is a closed figure. So the least sided polygon is a triangle. So we will be creating a triangle and then the four-sided polygon is a quadrilateral. So we will be also creating a quadrilateral and then after that, the five-sided polygon is called pentagon. So also we can create a pentagon using the six given points and then also from these six given points, we can also create a hexagon. So this one is already an example of hexagon. So we can conclude that there is already one hexagon here. But we are looking for the number of polygons that can be formed using this six given points. So we will add the number of triangles that can be formed plus the number of quadrilaterals, the number of pentagons, and the number of hexagon that can be formed using this six given points. And then to do that, let's have our solution. So we have six combination three. So we have six given points, the value of n, and then combination three, which is the value of r, which is this will be the solution for the number of triangles that can be formed using the six given points. Plus, we will add the number of quadrilaterals that can be formed using the six given points. So we have six combination four because to have a quadrilateral, we need four points. And then we have the number of pentagons. So the solution will be 
six combination five because in pentagon we need five points or five vertices plus the number of hexagon which is six combination six so we need six points to form a hexagon this will be our solution let's try substituting this to our formula of combination so we have six the value of n is equal to six then factorial symbol all over the value of r is equal to three factorial symbol times we have the value of n is equal to six minus the value of r is equal to three followed by the factorial symbol plus the value of n again is equal to six followed by the factorial symbol then this time we will just change the value of r with four and then after that plus then we have six factorial all over this time we will change the value of r with five so we have five factorial times the quantity six minus five factorial plus we have six factorial all over six factorial times the quantity six minus the value of r will be equal now to six then factorial symbol and then we will just simplify simplifying this will be equal to 20 so 6 combination 3 is equal to 20 meaning to say we can create 20 triangles from the 6 given points plus 6 combination 4 is equal to 15 so we can create 15 quadrilaterals from the 6 given points and then for the number of pentagons we can create 6 pentagons here and then lastly, for the number of hexagons that can be created in the six given points, we can create one hexagon here. And then adding these numbers, 20 plus 15 plus 6 plus 1 will be equal to 42. Therefore, there are 42 polygons that can be formed from six given points with no three of which are collinear. Let's have our last example. A class is to select a president, a vice president, a secretary, and a treasurer from seven class members. How many arrangements of class officers are possible? This situation illustrates permutations because we are selecting specifically for a president, a vice president, a secretary, and treasurer. So in this problem, order does matter or order is important. Let's identify first the given. The value of n is equal to 7. The value of r is equal to 4 because there are four positions. The president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. And then after that, we will be applying the formula of permutations. So we have npr is equal to n factorial over the quantity n minus r factorial and then we will substitute the corresponding value so we have 7p4 equals the value of n is equal to 7 over the quantity the value of n again is equal to 7 minus the value of r is equal to 4 followed by the factorial symbol bring down 7p4 equals 7 factorial is equal to 5040 all over 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 followed by the factorial symbol and then after that bring down 7 p4 equals copy 5040 all over 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 which is equal to 6 and then dividing these two numbers 5040 divided by 6 is equal to 840 Therefore, there are 840 possible ways we can select a president, a vice president, a secretary, and a treasurer from seven class members.